That's a lot of padding for an outsider. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for the HBO series The Outsider based on the Stephen King novel. I was very excited for this. I hadn't really learned anything about the novel. I was interested in who was attached to it, a lot of big names. When I did my Should You Watch This video, I've recently discovered that Jason Bateman is far better at drama than he ever was at comedy. He was horrible at comedy, in my opinion. I've seen this through the Ozarks. He starred in this series, and he also directed a couple of the first episodes. And what I will definitely say is that this has a lot of padding, very, very slow. The show creator is also the same guy who ran The Wire, and if any of you know The Wire, it was very good, but it was also very procedural, and it was very long, but it didn't hop around stuff. It didn't do stuff for dramatic effect. If it did, it was still in line with proper procedure for the most part, ergo why the first season barely anything happens in it, but it's still riveting. And essentially, The Outsider is the same thing. It is a Stephen King procedural crime drama that just so happens to have a monster in it. And it actually takes quite a while before that really comes to pass, that really comes to the realization. For those of you who are Supernatural fans who watch my channel, essentially this is a 10 hour long episode of Supernatural, whether that's good or bad for you. However, as I've repeatedly mentioned, there is a lot of padding. This is 10 episodes. It did not need to be that long. It could have been eight. Hell, it could have been six. You wouldn't have gotten as much character development, which is certainly very well done in this show. Every single character, even the side characters, have great development. That's something that King has always done well, and even if his stories aren't as woo as you would think they are, at least his characters are well done. Despite how kind of soft the ending is, the characters' arcs are still very well done. Ben Middleston is great to see as not a villain for once. He's rocking every single dad polo shirt as the main investigator of this show, who goes from really dead set on Jason Bateman to kind of realizing there is something else behind the curtain. And there's Cynthia Ervo's character, Holly, who is a kind of peculiar sort of investigator. Apparently, she is also a character that King has featured in his Mr. Mercedes novel series. This is a very unique character in the King world, and that's pretty big to say considering how many characters he has created. Her performance in the show is great, and I really love loved how the show was shot. Very high aperture. I know some people must have not liked this, but I very much enjoyed how the show was shot. This kind of lack of focus, this strain to see what was really behind the curtain, and it's only in the last episode that stuff really starts to become clearer. I feel like this is the show trying to portray what the characters are feeling in this, how much in the haze they are as well as you are in terms of the story and what's going on. It's well shot, it's well acted, there is some great character development, there's some good writing, it has a decent investigative story, it just is a little bit too long, has a very soft ending in my opinion. In the end, I'm gonna give The Outsider a 4 out of 7. It really, really got chugged down by that length. Yes, it's a lot of great story in this, but it did not need to be this long. I'm pretty certain I think the sixth episode, an entire hour, one thing happened. And you can make this interesting, but in this kind of story, you need to keep your pace going. And there was times where I just phased right out because I was just waiting for the next actual story element to happen. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of The Outsider. And if you liked this video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.